Game 45 of 45 in group A will dictate who the victor of this pool of players will be. Neil Duff, the reigning WDF world champion, needs only two legs to secure the first spot into Saturday night's final. The 50-year-old from Ballyclare is on the brink of qualification. The Duff man just needs two legs to do it. Up against him, the 22-year-old Jared Cole, nicknamed the King of the Castle, former development tour winner, who needs to win 4-1 or better if he is going to be the first man to progress first luck, to Saturday night's first red carpet game. occasion. Marco Meyer is the man in the middle in charge of proceedings, and so the final game of the group will determine the victor of it. 47. A 4-1 win for Jared Cole would mean that both players would be level on points, legs different, and legs one. The metric that would decide the group would be a head-to-head -head record, which currently stands at one apiece between the players. And by virtue of winning this game, that would mean one Jeremy had the 40. better head-to-head -head of the week. It is finally poised. It is set up for this showdown. And Scott Mitchell is alongside me in the commentary box to talk us through the dancing 16. drama that is to come over the next few legs. And you're right, it could only be over the next few legs if Neil Duff wins this first one. One on the throw, end, 40. Um, that's going to make life very hard for Jared. He's going to have to reel four off on the spin. So One on the end, 74. <laughs> what a great shot to leave a, a, a 170, the big fish. 98. Jared, you require 170. And every single outshot for Jared has to go. Because already, if Neil Duff wins this leg, Jared has to 95. win the lot. 95. Neil, you yeah, require exactly. 76. And, uh, both playing with an amount of freedom. 56. Jared, you so require 75. To Duff, you have to feel that this 75 really needs to go from Jared. And it goes. Yeah, that's game short in the first leg. Jared first leg Cole. and a break of throw to Jared Cole. That will give him some confidence. Second leg is Jared Cole. And it is the a distinct first. advantage Neil Duff has. In a leg where he knows he has to win by a margin, to have the dart is a huge advantage. One on the end, and your opponent 34. has to come out and attack. To have the darts and just say, well, I just need to hold a couple of times and I am through. That is a distinct advantage, and both players will know that. 100. Yes, they will. 60. Flo throwing, flowing, flowing, and throwing, and flowing very fluently. That's easy for me to say with a mouse full of peanuts. 85. Running a set of teeth in for, for a shy horse, I think. 85. Big last start. 4 well, that is precarious. Has to go downstairs. That was one of those darts where Nine we've been saying today's hit right in the corner. Where sometimes they fall out. 95. Big 95 there, but you can see the tension coming into the king of the castle's throw. He's going with the dart a little bit here. With the tension. 100. Jared, you require 127. Even a ton at that point is a good one for Duff. So, trouble 19 leaves the bullseye, and this 120 87. is very manageable. You require if they have to go, Cole's on tops. Not to be this time. So cold. Jared, you require 40. Heads back. Double top. Has to be positive. Yeah, that's game short in the second line. And it's two Jared zip Cole. to Jared Cole. He has come out the tracks flying. The biggest game of the week so far is Third producing is some Neil of the Duff best starts of the week on. so far. The averages are as follows. Neil Duff, 2-0 down, averaging 96.2. Jared Cole. 93.94. And then you look at the double statistics. 
Two out of four. Neil Duff's had one dart at double on the back of a 120 fun. combination. And that would be very critical to say that that's a, a bad dart or a mistake. That really would. So 45. As the game goes on now, it's who's going to feel it the most. Jared's got to be feeling absolutely lovely here. One on the end, 40. Oh, stops, breaks, wipes the sweat off the palm of his hand, and then hits another treble 20. But here comes One on the end, 40. to return the pressure. 46. All he has to do, Neil, is just be in and around because he knows 96. that Cole cannot make a mistake. And he's not making mistakes at this particular moment in time. He's leaving Duff under pressure. He really is 16. turning the screw on Duff here. 170. He really needs to turn the corner, needs a treble visit. Couldn't get a second treble visit. Another bounce out for him. 80. That could be Neil, you crucial in this leg. If Duff takes out this 156... After the first one, I think 18. he got a little excited. Jared I think he thought it was going to go. I think Jared thought it was going to go. I think we all thought potentially it could go. And so 18. double 10. Neil, you require 76. It's the first real blemish on the doubles for Cole. And Duff returns for 76. Two darts at double eight. Yeah, and the Duff man is a leg away one. for qualification. Jared Cole has to win next the next two legs. Ford Otherwise, is Jared it is going first. to be Game on. the reigning WDF world champion that seals the first spot One on the in Saturday 14. night's final. And I have to say an impressive double eight there under the severest of pressures with Jared having already had a dart. 82. Although a strange way to go for 90, I'd have gone 20-20 ball. And had words with anybody that didn't. And then when I saw the 25 go, 42. I thought, where's he off to now? But I understand that by hitting the 25, he still had a chance of the 15 to go back for the ball. So he was still getting his dart at it. However, the argument would be the One 20 the is a 40. bigger segment than the 25. That would be what some would say. And, and the double 15, if you had two 19. darts in your hand, would have been... A handy double to go out next door to double 10. So, but that's over. Now we're back to the Duff man. One really on the turning the screw. He's on the edge. Jared needs a 140. There's no doubt about that. One on the M40. <laughs> Neil, you require oh, 140. Well, he this yeah. is far from over. A ton here. And to be fair, those first two darts 100. are set perfectly fair Jared for that. Require 80. And so Neil Duff is sat on tots to go through. This 80 has to go. He's only going to get one at double top yeah, to make it 3 short one. And this Jared now, Cole. this leg is effectively a shootout leg. Jared Cole wins it. He goes Fifth through. Is Neil, Neil Duff wins first. it. He goes Came through. On. And after 45 games of darts in Group A, it all comes down to one leg of 501. 60. You'll be calling me your lucky omen next H, my first week. Have we gone down to the last leg of the last game? We had a nine-dart shootout last time. Oh, We've got a one-leg shootout today. And Cole 80. has kicked off Max. Is he going to steal this at the last moment? 55. Fifty-seven. Even Dick Turpin wore a mask. He hasn't backed that 180 up, though. Just needing a tidy little ton would have made the whole game look different. The whole leg look different. 85. So, Cole has turned the throw. He's 35, 40 in front with that one, but that's not enough. 29. That's a terrible visit in the situation. He's handed the initiative to Duff. Needs a treble. 60. Doesn't get one. And so it's handed back. 
You can sense the tension, you can sense the nerves, you can sense the significance. You can sense the tightness of the arm at this moment. 90. Massive dart, massive dart. 100 in front now, but Duff comes back. He's up against the ropes, but he's seven. not letting Jerry it go. Jerry to require 145. And so Neil Duff is going to get his opportunity at 144. 89. To head through. Neil, you require 144. To the first man into the finals tomorrow. But Cole will return for 56. He should get two darts 44. at tops Jared to do it himself. 56. And to pip Duff on the line. Double top. For Jared Cole, double ten. Game. And the king Shot. of the castle, Jared Cole. Duff, right at the very last. Jared Cole wins Group A on a head-to-head -head record. They couldn't be split on points. They couldn't be split on legs difference. They couldn't be split on legs one. And you could see the relief on the face of Jared Cole as he wins through by four legs to one. My word, Scott Mitchell, was that dramatic? Well, we predicted it right at the start of the day that it could come down to this and everything is just falling into place. What an exciting climax to Group A. It couldn't have been tighter and you still can't divide them only on head to head. What a group A it's been this last three days.